day now as small businesses deal with the pandemic. Is this Marissa? <laughs> That's a good reaction. <laughs> is this Brooke? It is. So we want to help. We want to make sure that you get through this thing. Oh. Thank you. I want to cry right now. It's really tight. Thank you, man. I can't forget. Wow. I can't believe this is happening right now. Amazing, amazing reactions there. Just a few of the many small businesses benefiting from an online fundraiser started by Dave Portnoy and Barstool Sports. And we have just learned that a local bar owner got the surprise call himself that he's also getting a helping hand. Joining us now live this morning is Jim Kirk, the co-owner of Kite and Key, which is just down the street from us here at CBS3 at 19th and Cowell Hill. Jim, good morning to you and congratulations. Thanks, Janelle. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, and I'm so happy to hear this news for you guys. So how did you feel? What was your reaction? We saw those other business owners. What was your reaction <laughs> when you found out that you had been selected for the Barstool Fund? And what was it like getting that call? It, it was amazing. You know, I don't really get too many uh, FaceTime calls. But uh, when I did, I kind of had an idea, and we really uh, we were watching a game, and uh, we were just, we were just so excited. We jumped for joy. and. Um, Let's just say I, I probably used it too many, um, too many of uh, I guess uh, not so correct words at the time. <laughs> so I'm glad you're not putting that on the uh, on the air right now. It was uh, it was it was amazing. It really was. <laughs> well, I could I could imagine your excitement. How is that money going to be used? So many businesses have been so impacted by this pandemic. What will you be using those funds for? Well, basically what we ask for is just help with rent. You know, it's um, it's really a finite number of, of funds that they have. And, and for us, the more businesses that can get it, the better. You know, you look at um, people like Aaron Rodgers or uh, Penn Gaming who, who really uh, donated money and local citizens who just donate money to the fund. And uh, I think it's a great thing. And I think it's, it's, it's an example for for other businesses out there, right? like let's just say Comcast, or our local sports teams, or our local sports heroes, maybe they can they can help out the fund a little bit and really help all these small businesses in the city um, or out throughout the country. Really, um, you know, they they all need it. I mean, it's it's not just bars and restaurants; it's uh, any local mom pa shop. And for us as citizens, let's shop at those stores. Let's uh, let's. Um, give them the business that they need to survive. Yes, yes, so important to, you know, donate and to also contribute to local businesses in any way that you can, especially during this time. I drive by your restaurant all the time and, you know, see people outside <laughs> sitting and eating. What have been your toughest challenges uh, during this pandemic? The toughest thing is, is constantly changing your business model. I mean, uh, you guys have all been regulars down at the Kite for years and, uh, you know, when you, when you have to change your way of doing business constantly, and if you know you're you're given a set of regulations, you feel like you modify your restaurant to accommodate those regulations, and all of a sudden they're stripped away from you. Uh, you know, it's kind of heartbreaking, and um, you know we're just trying to keep keep alive so our staff can work, and uh, you know we have a we have a, a steady following of regulars that really really have um, have helped us along the way. Um, we're just hoping that um, that we can make it through until, until everybody's 100% and everybody's safe. Yeah, absolutely. And everybody wanting to make sure we get a handle on this pandemic while also supporting you guys as you need it. So we know that today we could learn if limited indoor dining will be allowed to resume in the city. I'm sure that would be very helpful for you. It will be. It's 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 a it's a small step in the right direction. Um, we you know and Joe's actually Joe Holden's actually interviewed me before about what we've done in the restaurant, and um, we feel like we've done everything to keep our staff and our customers safe, and we're going to continue to do that. So with the 25 percent, that's a that's a welcome blessing for us, and uh, we're looking forward to getting back to 100 percent. And we are looking forward to that happening as well. And again, to you, Jim Kirk, congratulations. Wishing you guys and all of the local businesses out there good luck as we get through thank all you. of this together. Jim, thank you. Kite and Key Restaurant, 19th thank and Callow Hill. Appreciate your time this morning.